All right, guys. So I'm going to teach you guys the one of the hardest riff encounters out there, the riff and versus poppy matchup. So what we have in this game is my new favorite setup, guys. We have the conquer page, and then we also have the magical footwear, and then we also have the cosmic insight. Now, what we also have is a D blade, and then we also have TP this game. So you can kind of like guess like what the plan is. Um, we have the Cosmic, which reduce the cooldown of TP and Flash. And then we also going to buy Lucidity Boots to reduce the cooldown further and have like the lowest um, cooldown possible. It's recently been my favorite setup. Like I've been playing over 20 ranked games with it in a row on my Challenger account. And it's been absolutely outstanding. I think this might actually become like my new, um, my new main room page to go with. All right, so we're playing against Poppy right now. It's honestly a pretty hard matchup because she can basically cancel her knock up each time she has the, the coin for the shield. She can poke with it. She also has Q, which does ridiculous damage. And then she also has the ultimate, which um, constantly kicks us back. So it's not necessarily a fun matchup. I always have this idea that Riot literally made Poppy just to, to make a riff encounter sometimes. Because like... Her literally her entire kid is just made to like counter Riven. But yeah. So we're just playing it safe for now. I'm trying to stay like outside of the of the coin range so that she cannot throw in. The moment you reach level three is when you can actually start trading Poppy and actually block like everything while having good trades. There you go. So each time that she's gonna throw her coin, we're gonna uh, block it with the shield. And as long as we have the wave like stacking up, we're going to be looking for traits all the time. Let's go draw her coin. Block the Q by queuing straight into her. So the most ideal way of like dodging poppy Qs is just to literally Q directly into her. And then usually you can dodge it that way. Not really hard to do. Okay, she hits that a couple times, sure. Nice. And now we go back. Now, obviously, we're not going to stand in lane and just try and trade her on her tower. That's not going to work. So instead, we're going to go back to base. We're going to buy our long swords, And then as we approach her again, we'll try to see if we can force her to stay in lane. And maybe get like a good freeze on her. Like you can notice right now, Poppy's got some wave clear, but not necessarily that much wave clear. She can throw her Q on the back line and that's pretty much it. I will not so we have like the time of our lives to just reset and just buy our next item. She'll probably go for the cannon. I'm just going to see if I can cancel it. Go for an extra auto attack. I'm going to use my potion here. We're going to go for another fight. She has no W right now, so. She's staying really far away, but let's see if we can bait her like a little bit up here. Okay. She used up her flash. That's good. If we can like force uh, Poppy flash in some way, then we can kill her like the next time. Um, also, the wave is like kind of like pushing into me, which is super beneficial because we can cancel like lots of. Uh, we can take out a lot of XP for her. Now she actually has to like walk all the way back or TP. Rengar seems to be in bot lane, so we don't have to worry about Rengar. Okay, he's back. bad from her. Actually, I want to take it like one more off. Ooh. Certainly not bad from her. Like she got a really good trade off and then she turned around and like popped her entire combo and she does this because she went for like an early sheen. That's why she's doing like so much damage right now. I'm just going to take like another deep lane. It's going to make sure like we aren't going to get killed again like this because... He liked a little bit more HP. 
Should be okay now. Kind of fell for the trap before. Better. It's like the trick with Poppy is to get a trade off with her. You will likely um, either win or lose it depending on how she throws her coin and, and her Q. Um, of course, in the knockup. Um, but afterwards, if you have like a lot of ability haste um, from the bonus stats, you can actually re-engage after extending your Q and then you just kill her. Because Riffin's cooldown obviously is very low. Um, in comparison with Poppy, like, which, you know, her, her W is, like, extremely long cooldown. And her coin, I believe, is, like, 7 seconds, I believe. Got a Zack top, so maybe we can kill this guy again. Ooh, she just got level 6, like, right now. We gotta be a little bit careful, obviously, because right now she has like three potions. She has the crafting pot. We don't have any sustain at all right now because we lost our potions. So we're just gonna be uh, chilling for a bit. We might actually get a gang from Zack, so this might be a pretty good one. We've got the wave in a good spot. I don't think that she has a warden in the tribush. Oh, okay, she actually does. Yeah, okay. It was worth trying. She Apparently, she did ward. Okay. I think I'm probably just going to start, like, pushing the wave up and then look into resetting sooner or later. Got to get my next item. Your determination wavers. Okay. She is all the way up here. There you go. So, we are reset. We're going to go for uh, Warhammer. I'm going to um, also pick up the Kindle Gem. Chaos chaos. Nice. Got it. And now we walk back. Remember, guys, like we're playing with Cosmic this game, which means if we make it to the 14-minute mark, we can TP across the map have lower cooldown. If we buy um, Lucidity Boots, we can even get lower cooldown. And then we also have Cosmic, which even lowers the, the TP even more. And it brings it like all the way up to 181 seconds, which is like really, really good. It's way lower than, the, than what it should be. Got you. But like I said earlier, you're going to trade um, Poppy directly. And then instead of like walking backwards and waiting for your cooldown to come back, you're just going to continue to auto attack Poppy until you get your um, your fast back and then you just kill her. So yeah, it kind of comes down to like uh, being confident in, in that you can actually kill her. You got to you got to know your 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 numbers while doing this that's the thing that matters the most all right so let's go for pickaxe let's go for potion my belief is absolute let's walk back so far we killed her twice Uh, by the way, quick question. Uh, how do you animation cancel? Um, uh, as for that question, I really recommend you just check out my YouTube channel because I got a video, like an advanced video, where I literally show the combos in slow motion and literally explain um, with everything on how to do it. Like, just simply search for DVX3 Riffin Combo, uh, Riffin Combo Guide, and you will find like one of my advanced videos I've got like multiple videos about it actually but some are like older than than others hmm. I'm gonna hop with this wave it's likely that she would just play safe like this for a while 
So I'm going to see if I can rotate and get some jungle camps. There is a camp here, I hope. Does not seek or not. He seeks there you go. I think I'm going to take the wave in top lane again and then probably rotate towards mid lane to take the wave right there because it's like absolutely massive. And I think that Poppy is going to keep on playing like this for at least a little while. Let's run mid lane. She might freeze the wave. I, I don't really care if she freezes to be honest. Let's, let's see if she does. Okay, she doesn't. You know, whether she freezes or not, like, it, it doesn't matter for me. Ooh, you're making a mistake, buddy. A little confident, huh? Like, she was really confident. Okay. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna back four, get my core chinker, then TP back to top lane right here so that she doesn't get any plates. There you go. Personally, I'm kind of thinking about going for Grudge this game, maybe even Ghost Blade for Lethality. Just because, like, we're already having a good time and we get snowballed at heart anyway. Going back, you know, to the old builds, right? Going, like, Ghost Blade and then uh, all the other stuff. Is this freezing? Ooh, I think I'm actually dead here. Too bad, Rengar, you're dead. Got my Salus here. I don't think he will jump. I doubt it. Yeah, he's not going to jump, obviously. I might still reconsider going for Ghost Blade because they have a team comp that I did really don't like. They got like an all-in team comp. Which can be annoying. I'm just, I'm just trying to make it stay, you know? I hope that she's going to walk up to the wave here. Ooh, nice. She does not have R. Okay, she doesn't fall for it. Smart. Usually, if you if you third Q into someone's face, they will usually walk up because they think it's on cooldown. But this guy's a little bit more smart. He doesn't walk up. He's just staying back. He, he doesn't trust it. <laughs> We could just force him under tower, though. Just need Sack up here. Yeah, she's playing it kind of safe, and I don't necessarily want to die for Poppy, because, well, you can kind of guess what will happen. Let's see if I can kill mid lane. Man, this guy's tanky, though. I don't remember, like, Rengar being this tanky, guys. What? Oh, he's going, like, steel caps, and he has a... He has the... This item. Right. He's not gonna jump. I doubt it. He's not gonna jump. He won't. He doesn't have the damage to do it. Because he's going, like... He's going, like, half damage, half armor, Rengar. Top lane. Got lucky day because there's a blue like right in front of her face. Of course. Did I say Ranger trying to seal it. Ah! 
Ah! Ah, the knock up, it failed. Feels bad, man. <laughs> I'm actually kind of impressed because they had some good vision there, I guess. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go for death stunts. Or we can go black leaver and then grudge. Yeah, I'll, I'll just go black leaver and grudge after. You guys saying that Rengar has like armor runes as well? Ah, uh, yeah, I see. He's going conquer Rengar. What? With domination secondary. I guess he's got treasure hunter. Yeah, I was thinking personally about going Lethality before because uh, it was like the game is looking really good. But since they're going like tank mode on basically anything in this game, we're going to have to need a Black Lever. Also, we're going to have to TP right now. I hope they don't have wards. Kidding? So they do have wards. I wouldn't say it's worth for me, but it's worth for my team, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We got a nice kill on Rengar Katarina, but I'm not happy that I die. Because I, now I'm missing time. It's like 25 seconds of, of just waiting. Uh. Yeah, it's worth for my team, just not worth for me. Let's walk up here. So we're just gonna get some jungle camps now, and then we will rotate back to the side lanes and just hard push it. Charge my Q here. Here we go. Poppy is chilling top lane. I guess I'm gonna pick up the red buff for myself. Got my TB back in like 65. Okay, here we go. Now we take the wave. Probably someone's gonna show up. Let's rotate Pauline. Like, I, I don't know, dude. Like, what he did was smart, but at the same time, not smart enough because, like, my team is up here. I like the idea of what Galio was trying to pull off. But you should never do that into a fed rhythm, you know, just saying. Can jump. Got it. Yeah, this game is pretty much as good as over. Because now we can reset, or well, first we can get the uh, we can get the Baron, and then we can reset, get my Black Leaver, get my uh, the the half of my Grudge. Or, I guess, no Baron, but... Now we're gonna come back, like, so strong. Let's go for Grudge. I'm just gonna go for the Warhammer for now, just so I can have, like, a little bit. I'm gonna go for a Red Potion, because it's looking good. I'm gonna push top, and then, as soon as the team fight appears, I'm just gonna directly uh, TP. Got my Flesh in, like, 22. 
I think that the upcoming team fight will probably be the last one because I'm pretty confident in like winning the next team fight. Quick spawning soon. The light reaches all. Yeah, but you just like no damage. Okay. <laughs> no way, there's actually a Rengar top lane? Eh, okay. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Feels bad, man. There's a there's such a massive fight on on, uh, on dragon, and then you got like two people top lane. I didn't see Rengar when he moved up here, but I guess he walked past the ward. <laughs> I'm gonna TP too in five seconds. I will TP right here. Oh, they walked away. Nice. Uh, personally, I would rotate to Baron right now and just secure it now that Rengar is dead. But he's gonna go bot lane. Alright. No blue. No camp here. We don't have Zack to secure the Baron yet. My blade, my Interesting fighting Balain. Yeah, I'm not really moving up there because it's taken a long time for me to move. I'm just taking a wave here. There you go. Maybe if we're lucky, they might pass through. Nice. <laughs> Unfortunately, like the support dies for me. <laughs> Man, Rengar is honestly so different right now. I haven't really checked out the, the changes yet. You know, I just play against him several times and he looks the same. Um, but he feels like so different to play against right now. He's, um, I feel like he is more tanky and has more consistent damage, if that makes sense. Like he used to go full damage and easy to kill, but now he's like actually hard to kill and still has damage. Hmm. This game is going to be a bit challenging. So I guess they probably uh, probably have vision. Maybe I can secure this one too. I hope. Hello, Rengar. Yeah, he's definitely he's definitely really tanky. Man, that Rengar is so tanky. And he still has so much damage. Interesting, dude. Let's go for crutch. Let's sell that stuff. I'm just going to go for the stopwatch. I believe I should be able to kill Rengar right now with like one combo because I got crutch right now. It's, it's a lot different.
Nice. Good. Ah, too bad that doesn't hit. <laughs> Alright. Let's go back, side lanes. If they could bait them in some way, I'm going to jump over and kill them. Nah, never mind. This guy's got to be careful. Yeah. Wait. Oh man, Rengar is actually getting deleted in a 1v1 with a Tristana. <laughs> Wow. You don't see that every single day, man. <laughs> Shostana literally, like, jumped into Rengar auto range. And still got it. Okay. That was a uh, very interesting experience. <laughs> I'll sell the deep blade. This game is more challenging than I thought it would be, to be honest. They got some really annoying champs in this game, man. Break here. I can TP in 10 seconds. Wow. Yeah, we actually lost Rake. Alright, let's go bot lane. Let's hard push. The game should really not be this challenging though, man. We should be able to win team fights. Shouldn't be struggling at all. Such a massive like wave on top. Did I miss it? Wow. Unbelievable. Somehow managed to like miss it. I need my team to um, not like walk to the side lanes actually. It's good to be grouped, but my team needs to be on mid lane or top lane. Hmm. I'll be alive. No worries. Yep, that's nice right. Well, I suppose that we could like push two lanes at once right now. Cannot finish the game yet because they're only dead for 20 seconds, but we can definitely get like two inhibitors. here or
<laughs> Kidding me. <laughs> you know, there's one thing I really, 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 really hate in League, and it's just exhaust on the AD carries. I really hate it. I remember the, the time in League where AD carries used to take heal. And I like that time because you, you wouldn't get cheesed like this, right? But nowadays, you, you have this exhaust on AD carry, right? And this happens all the time. You lose like 90% of your damage. And they can just walk like blank, straight blank range into you. Uh, let's go to that stance. Need a bit more though. I think I'm just going to sell my stopwatch. Yeah, I'll sell it. I'll TP this one. Don't be too surprised. I think that was show. Yep. It's got like max range one off. Good. I've got so many assists this game. It's insane. Yeah, I guess this is probably where the game ends, like 30 seconds right now. <laughs> yep. The game is done here. You see, like, when you play against Galio Poppy, it's not really fun. But, I mean, they're annoying at most. They don't really do damage. But, uh, yeah, either way, this is Riven Top. Thank you so much for watching today's YouTube video. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.